Konnichiwa, Shogun. So, um, sorry, I haven't vlogged all weekend. It's kind of been like my weekend off from everything. Uh, but I have been thinking about YouTube. Don't, don't think I forgot about you. And I, I thought, you know what would be cool? If I do like a Nintendo series, but chronologically, so that you guys can see like, you know, how the story really unfolds. Because so Nintendo will have these giant stories no one actually follows and uh, <laughs> so I was actually wondering and I will end up doing both of these series at some point I promise but uh, what your choice affects priority really <clears throat> which which series should I, should I do Legend of Zelda or Pokemon now Pokemon I would be doing red then crystal then emerald then Platinum, probably, and, I don't know, either black or white, and maybe, at some point, X and Y, but that's a 3DS game, it'd be kind of tricky, so, maybe not. Zelda would be really tricky, because I want to do it chronologically, and uh, I'd have to leave out Skyward Sword in the beginning, but that's okay, because Skyward Sword doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's like, oh, um, you're in the sky, <laughs> that's, that's where people were in the beginning... And then the planet Earth was actually like, like the home of the devils and the dark forces, and yeah, d no sense. It makes none. So, even if I had access to Skyward Sword, I'd probably skip it just because it's confusing and it really doesn't add anything except like, oh, here's the first Link in the first Zelda, and they were friends, and it wasn't a princess, and a random elf hero guy. Um, also, uh, there'll be. It's gonna get kind of confusing when I get down to Ocarina of Time, which is my favorite Zelda game by far. But that's where the timeline splits, so that's where it gets all chronologically woozy. Um, so, post it in the comments down there. Uh, I'm actually getting Pokemon Red right now. I have the original Zelda game, but it doesn't come first in the timeline. So I actually need. Uh, I I just got VBA. Why? Because I need Minish Cap. Minish Cap is the first game to come after Skyward Sword. So let's... Sorry. I also... Um, oh yeah, this is all gonna happen on Shogun Games, by the way, not here. But, um... Still working on a new f series for Shogun Games. It's taking forever to edit. Never realized quite how hard it would be. Uh, it's gonna be called Pressing Buttons, pun intended. Uh, there is no such thing as a pun that's not intended for me. Oi! Um. But. It's just so confusing. The whole Zelda storyline with the splitting timeline about how, like, here's what happens when he's a kid, and here's what happens when he's an adult. Because they had to split it because. <laughs> Ocarina of Time happens both. So you can't just be like, Ocarina of Time, things happened when he was a child, and then all this happened, then Ocarina of Time again, then all this happened. And this third split on the timeline where he loses, which I think should be, there should be a split for every game, you know. Link is dead. The bad guy won. The end. Um. I want to go into the, those games, I really do. But, you know... It's kind of hard work to call that split, you know? I'll probably game over more times than you can count. I mean, I guess, I think it's after, like, the first time I game over. Maybe I'll just put a clip of me gaming over in the beginning and wait to do those until after I finish the adult timeline, because I'm going to do kid timeline and adult timeline, obviously. Uh, chronological. Duh. Ugh. Okay, let's get some Minish Cap up in here. Wait a second, did I forget that? Oh, well, I'm done here. Thanks for watching. You know where the like and subscribe buttons are? Just click them. Sign out, Shogun.